Two, two organizations that I work with are grassroots organizations. One of them has absolutely no funding from anywhere. Right? It's an organization called APIA. It's an, a, an itinerant preacher called Joel Santon. And Joel Santon has a narrative of, of, of becoming HIV positive, being thrown out of his church, and so on and so forth. And then deciding that he wanted to continue to be a minister to people who are living with HIV AIDS. It starts with a quixotic notion that what he wants to do is to create an organization that is supportive of people within his, who he knows and, and, and creates for him. There are 700 people who this, this man reaches out to. The last time we met Joel Santon, he was hungry. You could tell he was hungry. His fingernails were white. You could see that he was anemic. But he, with, with the, they were in a support group, and he was joyous, and he was encouraging, and so on and so forth, and he was ready to go out on the street to visit people, to talk to people, and so on. And, and he was doing all of this out of his faith. This is, this is his thing. He said, that's my faith. And even if I have to die doing it, I will do it. But that grassroots organization, I met the people who he affects. They don't have a great deal, but he goes to visit them and pray with them, and whatever little he has, he gives to them. In that context, that, the HIV populace, they're, they're still faced with stigma, and they keep everything closed within themselves, but there's a support organization that has spread in that context, and that, that, that is effective, and that is working. So, so, so there are people who have visions and ideas of what they want to do, but they don't necessarily have the resources to do it.